As with life, the journey of photography has its ups and downs. We all go through times when we're feeling super motivated and inspired and just want to get out there. And then others where we feel like we barely have enough energy to even lift a camera. Of landscape photography because being out in nature, appreciating beauty and focusing on what piques my curiosity is like a warm blanket for my soul. It helps me to slow down and be present and it brings me peace and happiness. often find it's when I'm feeling the least motivated that I most need to get out there. Not for photography, but for myself. feeling tired and overwhelmed, that is not the time to take every piece of kit that I own in an attempt to take the perfect picture to restore my inspiration. That way is doomed to fail. Instead, it's when I need to free myself of both gear and expectations to head out with just a single lens and a camera, having a wander to see what captures my attention. Now I'm out today with just my Canon 100mm macro lens to take some close-ups and intimate photos, quite different to what I normally do with my landscape photography. You know, get out, do something different and uh, see if we can restore my photographic mojo. So at the moment, I'm taking a photo of the little seed pods at the end of the grasses, because I like the shape of them and the contrast of colour between the seed pod and the grass. Now, <laughs> the wind's just decided to pick up. I was taking some before. When it's windy like this, macro is nigh on impossible. Uh, a little bit of breeze is okay, but you want to make sure you have a fast shutter speed um, just to make sure that there is no blur through either a little bit of movement of your subject or camera shake. So with macro, you obviously have a really shallow depth of field. So you need to watch out to make sure that the subject you have, that you've got that sufficiently in focus. But on the other hand, you do want to make sure that the background is nice and blurred out because otherwise it doesn't make the subject stand out well enough and it's distracting. So you, you uh, need to have a little bit of experimentation there with the, the aperture. At the moment, I'm shooting at f11, uh, 1 320th of a second, and then I've just got it on auto ISO, so I'm not having to worry about the actual exposure itself. just been taking some shots of these grasses trying to 
aim up when the sun's out a bit to get them backlit, but with the darker green in the background, uh, focus is not easy. Situations like this, the little screen, flip out screen can be incredibly handy. So if you're feeling unmotivated, want to make it a bit easier on yourself and remove expectations and gear and everything to weigh you down, just head out without worrying about taking awesome or perfect shots and just follow your curiosity, look for interesting things and just have fun. And if you happen to be feeling a bit more energetic, want to go to a spot that you know you love, but go and check out something new, just like I did in this video here.